Welcome to Storytime with Master Ken. Today's story, The Three Little Pigs and the Wolf on the Road by Dimitri Karras. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived happily together in a house made of brick. One day, the pigs ran out of food. They needed to go to town to buy more. They all knew that the big bad wolf would be out there, and the big bad wolf loved to eat bacon. That's where bacon comes from, is pigs, if you didn't know that. The three pigs agreed that they needed a way to stay safe. The first little pig said, I have an idea. I will become a political activist and petition the government to ban bacon. The first little pig made a Twitter account. He tweeted the town's elders nonstop about how unfair bacon was to pigs until bacon was finally outlawed. I don't spend a lot of time on Twitter. For the record. The next day, happy with his new law, the first little pig left to go to town. But the big bad wolf was waiting by the road. When the wolf saw the pig, he said, Little pig, little pig, come here so I can make tasty bacon out of you. The little pig replied, You cannot do that, Mr. Wolf. There is a law against bacon. It is a legal sin. You cannot do that not by the hair on my chinny-chin-chin. Well, said the wolf, let me think, let me think. I know bacon and pork chops are not technically the same thing. So the big bad wolf bit and he clawed and he turned the little pig into a pork chop and ate him for dinner. It's already a kind of violent story. So, I need an age restriction on this. The second little pig, after seeing what happened to his friend, said, I have an idea. We need to make a better law. So the second pig also became a political activist. He created a Facebook page called Pigs Demand Action. Got a little PDA there. See, there's the pigs. He posted day and night about how unfair it was for wolves to have dangerously sharp teeth. Finally, the village elders made another law, this time making it illegal to have sharp teeth or claws. The next morning, happy with his new law, the second little pig left to go to town. But there again was the big bad wolf waiting by the road. When the wolf saw the pig, he said, Little pig, little pig, come here so I can eat you for breakfast. The little pig replied, You can't do that, Mr. Wolf. There is a law against you having those sharp teeth and claws. It is illegal. You cannot win. You cannot do that, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Well, said the wolf, let me think, let me think. It seems your law is airtight but I'm still going to kill you. I am a wolf. I will not be dulling my teeth. Sorry, little pig. I just don't care about your law. So the big bad wolf bit and he clawed and he turned the second little pig into savory pork sausage links and ate him for breakfast. Reading this book is making me hungry. The third little pig, after seeing what happened to his friends, said, Hmm, laws don't seem to stop the wolf. I need to think of something better. He thought and he thought and he finally said, I have an idea. The third little pig went online and ordered all the things he needed to make a ghost gun. When his package arrived, he worked and he worked and he built an unserialized AR-15 with 30 round standard capacity magazines. The next day, happy with his new rifle, the third little pig left to go to town. But there again was the big bad wolf waiting by the road. 
When the wolf saw the pig, he said, little pig, little pig, come here so I can eat you for lunch. The third little pig replied, not today, wolf, eat this instead. So the third little pig fired round after round of 5.56 five, steel core into the big bad wolf's face. Even after the wolf was clearly dead, the little pig did not stop shooting. He shot and shot and he yelled, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. The third little pig strolled the rest of the way to town. He peacefully purchased his food and returned home, happy that the big bad wolf would never hurt another pig. The end. At least I had a happy ending. That's good. That was Three Little Pigs and the Wolf on the Road. If you would like me to read your book on Storytime with Master Ken, email me at enterthedojoshow at gmail.com and we'll work something out. It's not cheap, but I'll do it. I'm Master Ken. Hope you enjoyed that story. And remember, always restomp that groin. Thanks for watching our video. Remember, you can order your own personalized video message from me, Master Ken, by going to Cameo. So whether it's a happy birthday or you want me to tell you or your instructor why your martial art is total bullshit, go to Cameo and order your video message today. And remember, always restop that groin.